Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and today is a day Mac OS Big Sur 11.3 has been released. We've got brand new iMacs to talk about, we've got so many changes, we've got a lot to cover, but this video is going to be in everything new in under 5 minutes. Let's jump changes. in and get started. First of all, this update goes out to viewer King Nolan. Yeah, peace out, I just want to watch like 5 minutes on Big Sur. I hear you, buddy. Let's go over a quick summary of the 11.3 update. There's 53 security fixes. 20 nine new features, seven resolved issues, Safari 14.1 is new, this update brings support for the brand new 24 inch iMac. To update to Mac OS Big Sur 11.3 all you need to do is open up system preferences and go into software update and you'll see the update right here. If you don't see it give it a little time and you should see it very soon. All you need to do is click on more information if you want to see even about the update. If you have the update automatically downloaded you'll already see the restart now button when you click this it'll immediately restart to the update and get started. If you don't have automatic updates selected to download, it'll say update now and it'll download first and then you'll have the option to restart. We're back. The update download took about 15 to 45 minutes depending on your internet download speed and then the 11.3 full install for the update took about 20 minutes to fully complete from when I clicked restart now until I was back on my usable desktop so it went pretty quick. We're just going to differentiate this video from the other update videos. And one of the things I want to do is show you exactly the changes that are different between the previous Big Sur releases and 11.3. And the first one is the changes to the Find My app. You can see that on the left hand side, this is 11.2.3, there's a missing items tag and that's the new option for air tags that will be released on April 30th. So you, as soon as you add an air tag to your Apple ID account, you'll be able to see them in the new items tag, you'll be able to locate them. There's also a loss mode that notifies you when the AirTag is found so you can enter in a phone number where they can be contacted. So let's say you did lose your AirTag and then you change it to loss mode. If someone finds that and it pings on their iPhone, it says, hey, you can contact me to be able to get that item back to you. So it's a really cool feature and I can't wait to test it once AirTags come out. The next change is new emojis three and here is the new heart emoji with a little bandage on it. And that's, as you can see, that's not here. And there's also a new fire heart emoji, the couples. And if you see, you can click on one of the couples and now you can select a different color of the person that you want to be able to select as a second person. And there's also a woman with a beard. And you can see that right here. The next change is around Siri. There's big changes in 11.3. If you look on the left hand side, this is 11.2.3 and you can see all the options and you look in 11.3 and there's new Siri voice options. Let's listen to number one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Number two. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd number like three. me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd number like four. me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Next change are around the podcast app and now look at the difference before you had to click on this plus button or the three buttons to save the episode or they add to the library now you can click on the save button to library right here and you can click the download button right here the podcast show pages are also redesigned to make it easier to start listening and the download behavior and notification settings can also be customized on a show by show basis and also the top charts in the popular categories have also been redesigned for you to be able to discover new shows next up is apple news it has been redesigned for the News Plus feed to enable Apple News Plus subscribers to find and download and manage magazine and newspaper issues. The News app has an all new search experience that helps you find relevant topics, channels, and stories. When I searched for car and car, got different font for the top result in the stories, and they changed the layout of the stories so you can see more stories in pictures instead of a headline here. And immediately down to the channels right down here, you can see more in the newer version than you could in, in the channels of the previous. The next change is in Safari. The start page section order can now be customized. Also there is a new option in privacy and we see that there's a brand new web advertising checkmark box that allows privacy preserving measurement of ad effectiveness. The next change is to reminders. When you open up the app for the first time you'll see an upgrade now button. Hit that upgrade now button. We'll go back to reminders. They've changed the ability to sort today's smart list. So you can right click on today and show sort by and you can sort by these different options as you can see there was no such option before you can also print your reminders you could not do that before if you clicked on there you just got a beep if you want to do that in the new version click on reminders click on command p to print and you can now print the reminders list the next change is around iphone and ipad games in the mac app store for apple silicon m1 devices so you have the option to change the iphone and ipad's window size you also have new game controller options and you have keyboard support 
for iPad and iPhone games that are designed to use tilt functions and you are able to support the highest resolution of an iPhone or an iPad app in full screen mode. Also an M1 change is that the About This Mac displays an Apple warranty status and Apple Care Plus coverage in the service tab when signed in with an Apple ID, plus support for purchasing and enrolling Apple Care Plus for eligible Mac computers from About This Mac. M1 devices also now support hibernation mode, so that's another welcome change for M1 Macs. And that's it for my quick five minute video on the changes revolving around the 11.3 update. Let me know in the comments if you like the quick five minute format and also stay tuned for my 11.3 deep dive video coming up soon. Thanks a lot.